Oh my gosh, it's Grim Dawn. I've been watching this game in Early Access for quite a while, and I decided to go ahead and jump on it. It went on sale, and I thought it looked kind of neat. It's made by the developers who did Titan Quest, so it has a lot of really similar systems. Here are some of the options. You can change all kinds of stuff. Video, key bindings. Now, when you create a character, you don't get hardly any choices. Male or female, and a name. And then your character just pops out and it's got whatever look it has. So, I've got two characters here. One of them's an arcanist, which is kind of a magic user, and the other one's a soldier. And I'm just going to go ahead and jump in here and show you what it looks like. As you can see, it's your typical top-down action RPG style. One thing that makes this title unique from a lot of the others is you can rotate your camera. Middle mouse button, or you can use keys on the keyboard. That's kind of neat. Let's see, here's your quest journal. You've got some quests you can do. And enemies respawn whenever you create a new game. So, like right now, I've got this quest to get these rotting soldiers. But you start seeing less and less of them as you get farther into the game, so it's kind of good that it respawns. Here's your map. You can zoom in, but you can't zoom out all that far, although you can go to a big world map. These are all the places that I've been so far. Here are your abilities. So just like with just like with Titan Quest, when you get to level five you pick a class, and then when you get to level ten you can select another class. So you can have two classes going at the same time. And the classes are a little bit unusual. None of them really fit into solid stereotypes except maybe the soldier which you can do a two-hand specialization or a sword and shield specialization. And it's got skills that are specific to both. And then the demolitionist I haven't really played with yet, but the occultist I haven't played with that either. Demolitions, fire, and guns. It sounds kind of fun. I like fire. Occultist is more about summoning. Nightblade is, I guess it's kind of your damage dealer with two hands. Uh, dual wielding and then arcanus which is pretty much your traditional mage type class right now i'm just sort of specializing i've got a two hand here's what skills i have i've got horse wave which is got a little bit of range to it and i've upgraded it quite a bit so it does pretty well although these, these things aren't really a very good indication of what it'll do and then the other one is just a basic attack. It doesn't cost any energy. It's your energy bar. But it increases in damage as you hit. Every third hit is a big hit. You also get a little portal, which is kind of nice. Also, when you look at your inventory, you got this button which which completes your components and these components are like these things here and this is just like Titan Quest they have they have little bonuses that add stats to your gear like this one here gives you you put it on weapons shields or off hands and it gives you piercing aura and right click I think there you go now, now I've got that on there. And now if I right click on this, I can put that on. So now I'm doing that piercing aura thing off that item. From your personal rift, you can either go back to town or you can go to any of the portals that you've already opened. But since I haven't opened that one yet, then I'm just gonna stay where I'm at. It's got a few dungeons out there as you explore. Use that portal. So there's nothing real super special about this, but if you liked Titan Quest, then this is pretty much a must buy. The game isn't finished right now. It's still it's mostly finished. It's just just 
they're finishing up a little bit of Act 3. I think the full release is going to be coming out in about a month or two. You got chests scattered around. The currency is iron bits instead of gold because apparently it's set in some kind of post-apocalyptic wasteland where iron is rare and more valuable than gold. So if you look at your gear and stuff, it's all like scrap metal and leather and stuff like that. Also, when you're out of combat, your health goes up really fast, but it consumes this uh, like vitality or stamina, whatever it is. And you gain that by either leveling up or sometimes you find food scattered around and that brings it back. As you can see, it's it's got a really dark, gruesome art style. Some people might like that. I don't know. It's up to you, but if you thought Torchlight was too bright and colorful and cheerful, then this game might be a little more your speed. It's actually more... It's more grim and gritty than even Diablo 3. So if you thought Diablo 3 was too bright and cheerful, you'd probably like this game. See, it's also got a faction system, which I haven't really looked into a whole lot, but I know that as you go up in faction you start gaining shop discounts and your trust prove no easy task with supplies running low and a looming ethereal threat on the horizon they may just be willing to take a chance devil's crossing so that's the main town that the quest hub that i've been getting quests out of as you can see if you look at the world map there's quite a bit to it, and I think this is just the first act. I'm not sure. I haven't gotten past Act 1 yet. And it's actually pretty meaty. There's there's a lot to it. I've been playing for a while. And the farthest I've gotten on my other character was up to right about here. Somewhere around here. It's, it's got a lot of content, for sure. It's very professional. It's got good music. It's got good graphics. I have not encountered any kind of bugs or issues with it. It's actually really well polished. It gets a little bit difficult sometimes because they can throw a lot of enemies after you. I've died a few times. When you die, you lose a little bit of XP. You don't go into XP dead. You just lose a little XP. I don't know if you can lose enough to lose a whole level or if it just takes you all the way down to the beginning. Never lost that much. Come on. But, you can go back and find where you died and regain some of the stuff you lost. Now we're, now we're kind of hurting a little bit. Ooh. Here's, let's see what we get. Copper Band of Fortitude. So here are your stats. You got three stats. That's it. Physique, is basically your health. It also influences some of the gear you can equip. And then cunning adds to crit chance and overall damage. And then spirit adds to magic damage. Cunning also increases your chance to hit. So your offensive ability shows you what chance you have to hit. As you can see I'm down to 93.1 so I might have to start stacking a little more cunning. Here's something else that's kind of neat. When you go to your options menu, right here, always show loot. You can choose what type of loot you want you want to see. So I've already taken it off common because I don't care about common loot anymore. But when you first start out, you might want that. Otherwise, you'll be running around naked. And we don't want to see that. Sorry. I don't care who you are. These games are really fun for when you just want to kind of zone out and just kill a bunch of stuff. You don't really have to think too much about what you're doing. You just run around. That's kind of neat. Every once in a while you have decisions to make. You know, am I going to put this gear on or what am I going to do with that? But overall it's not really any big deal.
I thought I had already unlocked that portal. I don't know why. Maybe that's a bug. Now that is crazy. I've got this buff. It's a passive buff. It's a skill that I learned. When I get down to 30% health, it triggers this regen. Let's see. There it goes. A little health regen buff. That helmet might be kind of nice. Let's take a look. Yep. It does. So, you don't get... You don't get your green... Things to tell you what's going to be better. You just kind of look at the stats and you just make a judgment. So there you go. There's Grim Dawn. It's pretty crazy. Lots of stuff to kill. Lots of stuff to loot. Action RPG. Nothing real major groundbreaking. It's just a really smooth experience and if you enjoyed Titan Quest you can't pass this up.